more about side cutters. Uh, especially this little loading block which will be of great help and the important things about this are the two uh, pan head screws whatever has a big uh, underside there so that the die will be go under the lip of those two screws and then two other screws that go up here that will uh, when you push the outside part of the die down it will effectively open the die up, making it much, much easier to load metal in there. So um, the other important thing about these things uh, for convenience is to uh, go ahead and mark some lines. And this will all be up to whatever designs you end up liking to use and widths, whatever widths and whatever, um, you know, different uh, lengths lengths you would mark this way uh, measure from the center so that you uh, come out the right right distance here anyway for and also on the underside it's going to be very handy to have lines on this part of the die here because uh, a lot of times we're working uh, on the underside here so you want to hold that closed so the ruler doesn't move around and then just you know make sure your scribing tool is harder than the die so uh, let's just go ahead and do one here your basic thing is to now a lot of times I'll leave enough extra room on the back there so that that second piece can be used as a decorative element center that a little bit <laughs> it's a habit. Okay, put that back in. Now, um, when I have a, a bigger blank, that I, let's say I want to make some little side pieces. I'm just in the habit of not using this thing because you don't always have to. So I want to make some thin elements. And so we have to work from the back side now. And this is where some lines under here would come in very handy. You can cut very close and cut the I may I'm making these side cutters tight so that they'll work on thin metal but also when I'm cutting real narrow strips like this. So it's really easy to make a little little ring shank with a nice uh, border like this. You know, and there's a, a thousand other things you can do with them. Um, what else? Oh, uh, I guess embossing. I should cover that. Uh, it, it, you can, if you're gonna try to emboss with one of these things, use thin metal. Don't go thicker than about 22 gauge. And the die has to be opened in the opposite direction that it's opened when you're loading metal in there to cut it. So um, we'll have to open it up backwards. You can use, this is, it becomes it, these are sort of sprung open the right direction for cutting, so it's harder to open them in the opposite direction. And I've already done one half of this piece, so we're going to do the other half here. 
sort of line it up a little bit. And it doesn't take hardly any pressure to do the embossing. Now to get it out, you have to open the die back up. That's the, the, the prime directive here. Open the die up is the only way to get it out. Oh, you have to open it up pretty far, pull it out. Um, you can see it wants to slip out and fall through this way. And if that works, that works. <laughs> see, um, it's supposed to come out this way, but it's getting caught up right there. So let's just try that. Yeah, so that, that's actually a pretty good way to do it. Now, something like this. It may or may not be useful like this. Uh, maybe there's some possibilities for uh, enameling with the, in the depression. Um, the ones I've played with, I'll put back in the press and flatten out, and then maybe add some decorative elements. There's there's just so many things you can do with these. Now another. Uh, Another use for them is is the same same basic type of die uh, used for cutting bezels. Um, now these are set up so that you can repeat the pattern along a strip of metal. And uh, let's see, where's that one? Well, it's not here. But anyway, oh, there it is. Yeah, so uh, this is the die. Let me put a piece in there so you can see it's designed better. This is uh, the one of my standard zigzag designs. And that die was made to cut all of these pieces there just by making one cut and then moving the metal over and making another cut. It's, it's tricky to line them up right, but they are set up so that you can do that. Um, so that this pattern repeats itself regularly. 